so my friends let's get started with the presentation let's see now is my screen visible to everybody is my screen visible yes okay yes sir thank you thank you thank you so this yes. is how you do your opening so this is my animation number 1 okay so this is imagine if you open your presentation this way with the logo of the company and then you move ahead so this is how our webinar is going to work so the goal why you your 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 because you know you want to make sure that you know your presentations are really really good they hold something for you know in your in your company they create a good impression of you and it allows you to catapult yourself as not only a good employee but also a good presenter presenter okay now therefore you are here to create mind blowing presentations with the help of chat gpt and microsoft inbuilt tools so these are certain microsoft inbuilt tools that we will be discussing today with the help of which we will be creating different different animations so what happens is that your trust in you with your company highly increases everyone looks up to you and they start following you then what happens is that once from chat gpt you have created with the help of tome or slides you have created a draft that's as i said is only going to be around about 8 to 10 pages in the free account uh if you are paying for it again i do not know how much of animation those things would do so you would have to take that and come back to your uh microsoft powerpoint okay and then you create things here you animate it here you will get the skull you will get the whole thing but then you animate it with the help of microsoft powerpoint and that is your implementation and then once you present it that is when your employers or your uh, people are going to have trust in you and therefore the creativity the the trust is going to bring in more business more responsibilities and more work and therefore you need to put more creativity and the cycle goes on that's how this thing works so what's the good news ai is created by humans for humans you just need to know how to use it effectively so who am i okay i am a degree holder in visual communication a pg diploma in advertising events and media i am a science student turned designer now we are talking about designing and i am teaching ppt okay yes these things are also need to be designed what is and graphic designer if he can't present okay and further on in the next slides i will show you how important it is to even present your portfolio so i am an avid table tennis player i work 100% from home i'm a husband to a loving wife i'm a father of two amazing children and grounded in spirituality this is what i am now let's see how we can put our work or our portfolio or our uh, sequence of products that we have in this particular thing so as uh, you can see i'm on a mission to empower ambitious individuals to become masters of print design presenting is also a part of print design without presenting you won't be able to sell your designs and therefore this is in sync with what i am doing so my friends if you have microsoft 2019 and above and 365 and you are really serious how you want to take this work to a different level altogether this webinar is for you so if you are serious let's get on to it this is what my parent company is that is turning heads and that's where it is born now this is what i have done under this banner okay so this is the kind of designing work that i have delivered as you can see there's a button here only when i click the button this is going to move ahead so this is how you can present your whole range of products or your portfolio okay so this is the kind of work that i have done in the past okay so this is how it is i press this it will go back so this is how you can create an amazing slide show where you are showing your work now this is even as you can see these are all 
ten percent blur. So they no, sorry, they are only ten percent visible. So you have a sneak peek of what is going to come from behind, and uh, you know get seen. So that enhances the uh, thing of and keeps the person engrossed. That oh, I can see something here and there. Let me see what it is. It also allows the person to tell you to go back to the previous one. So this is our animation number two. As you can see, this is all done with the help of special tools, which are only there in 2019 onwards. Okay. So does it sound good? Yes. So basically, this is what I love to do. I love to teach, and as you can see, change is the only constant. So I have also moved on from just doing basic designing uh, to using uh, AI within my design. Okay, which you will see next. Okay. and therefore i practice and i love what i do and change is the only constant and you have to live with the time and therefore if you haven't upgraded to microsoft 2019 and above and want to create stunning stuff like this you will also need to upgrade and change with time so please make sure that that happens now creation with the help of ai now this is our animation number 3 okay so this is what it is as you can see over here these uh the portfolio over here the the uh, uh the coconut trees are been created with the help of ai so this is generated with the help of ai i and when you don't have time to really search for images just imagine i wanted to search for something very specific uh as these images go on you will realize okay let's say i wanted to search for this kind of a thing now how long is it going to take for me to search for this online probably r to us i'm just not shooting figures to make you all feel better about ai okay i am a designer i've been practicing for 20 years and about it is going to take you an r on to us and yet you will not get what you want so with the help of a good prompt if i can just generate this in 5 minutes by just thinking consciously and putting in those things that you know okay this is the kind of background that i want this is what it should have it should have a blast uh, feel it should have a paper burst feel and you know things like that and uh, and just saying generate and it should have a rustic feel and saying generate i can get this is that 5 minutes of thinking of what visually i want so the what kind of creativity i want to do is it worth it or two hours of spending on image search and yet maybe not getting what you want is worth so the call is yours you will have to work on the design but your initial i would say the table work the donkey work is going to be done directly with the help of ai even a large part of your designing also could be done with the help of ai and that you will see your for your over your the whole design of this has been done with the help of ai i have only put it in this t-shirt firma written jackson 03 and left it you want to know this is if this is really good you like this you can visit my channel creative thinkers hub and see all these videos i have put it with the prompts that i have used so you will not only learn how to prompt engineering but you will also learn how to create this on softwares like coral draw and photoshop now this is created fully on coral draw and this frame is ai generated this man is ai generated this fire is ai generated this uh, uh what we call the whole desert is ai generated and then all this is all just put together and this artwork has been made so this is the power of ai and this is how you could present your work okay this woman is ai generated and this is an image which i have taken from online and then i have used my designing skills to basically create this and then yes in the world of presently uh, deep fakes are too much in the in the talks right now so i took this image from adobe stock as you can see yeah and then i just trained a uh, an ai app to with my photo 
and put this image as a reference and it's put my picture in here so this is what a deep fake could do as you can see this is the original you can see here the cap and what it is showing here so this is where this is the power of what ai can do so this is the third way of presenting okay keep the count we are on number three right now okay this is number four let's say that you know you don't have a big portfolio like mine you have got something little okay you have got three or four things you have you are joined to products and you have got three products that you are launching okay let's say that you know i want to work around this so this is my product number one right in the center so this is my main parent product okay this is our animation number four this is my parent product i want to show it show it this way then once i'm done talking about this this is my second product so this is how it will show so if even if you have really small amount of things to showcase but if you showcase them well this is the power of powerpoint presentation and as you can see this is a different image 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 and the background is a different image i have taken all of them together in coral draw and i have done this all these videos are there on my channel if you are a designer or if what you all you are inclined towards designing i will be able to teach you all this you will learn all this in my channel over there and then comes a last one so i am yet not removing the focus from my main one as you can see if i go back it's yet showing you a very large part of the first one and then i come back to my last product so even if you have three or four products you could use this slider and you could take it further okay you want we i will show you if you want i can take take this one only we take it further to how you could then create a focus only on this so you move out you take you take only this product over here these two will blur out and the text or your matter about this one comes in then you could have your buttons like how we had over here your buttons which could go back to the parent slide that is this slide okay it goes back to this parent slide and then the person you could keep all these as clickables okay you could have these as clickables so that all if you want to learn i can show you all that also later on if you are interested okay the system how this works and how do you achieve this as i said it's creativity implementation and then once these two are there the trust so that's how this works so ideate implement and then you create an amazing portfolio and a profile and therefore your turn around your business deals your your uh, progress in your job are going to be really really good okay so let's see more are you do you all want to see some more is this enough only for or do you want to see more there's lots more okay so let's say you have a big team okay there are lots of us having really big teams or you have got mixed pictures like this with the client behind unknown people behind but you want to this is one of the best pictures where you know all your three four main characters are there in your uh, picture so how do you take this you are not a newspaper that is going to say third from the left is matthew then from here is shelly and then from here is uh, adam you are not going to do that right let's say that i want to showcase them in my presentation how do i do that this is your way so this is matthew he's a marketing intern okay then you click next she's shelly she's my marketing head and then this is adam he is my marketing senior so this is how you are going to present your team and take this forward so you are not making the client assuming that these two are your clients these two ladies here and this is their staff behind you are not making them feel bad but you are highlighting your guys amazing right have you learned something new today then let's say we all all our companies have histories okay so i'm just using this because uh, i've helped my son do his uh, presentation in this particular way 
so i've just taken a part of his presentation here okay so that's what it is so let's say that you know you have sat on jupiter venus so this is your parent this is your final screen okay this is what it finally is going to look like let's say i want to put it here so you want to show that you know this is let's say is 2000 uh, 1990 this is 2000 2010 and 2020 okay let's say this is your timeline so this is what you had done and this was your inception so you show a baby, uh, you know that this was a ideation stage it's inception this is something about your company okay and uh, wh- when you who are the partners and things like that so you write all that here and then in 2020 you moved ahead you created a bigger thing you started hiring more people and you saw how this text had trans uh, how, how this text is transiting it's happening here also so then in 2010 this is what we did we won so many awards and blah 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 and right now we are in 2020 as one of the biggest uh, manufacturers or producers of whatever that we are doing and this is what we have done so this is how you could create your whole timeline if you do something like this don't you think this is great okay instead of just having a dumb 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 kind of a you know a bang on kind of a slide if you have something where even the colors as you can see from gray to this is transiting even my text is transiting if you have something like this is it not going to really create an impact on whoever is listening to you okay this could even be done with the help of a road map so they all look different but the funda is almost the same in all of them okay now this is the solar system slide okay so let's say again now this is how i want Okay, this is my M for Mars, J for Jupiter, S for Saturn, M for Neptune, and I've written the same stuff. And now we are going to be talking about Mars. And then comes your text, or comes this image, or whatever. Now, in you want something that you know they mold, they they become from one image they transit into the second image. So something like this happens. Yes, something like this happens. so that's what you want right so that's where it it creates a more drama you're doing the same thing you're just putting one image on top of the other and etc etc but the transition is giving the drama to the whole thing okay so that's how it is so this is how you could even introduce different things okay so the, your timeline could be introduced in this way that jupiter then saturn now i have done it on continuous transition okay people who have worked on ppt you all know that there is something that on click transition so if i had done uh, you know i was talking about jupiter so jupiter would just come in then i would say that okay then you put a date here from your i move to saturn in this date okay so this could be on click and this could be on click then again on click on click and on click so you could split it and put the whole thing on click yeah so this is your transition number 7 so i have showed you seven different transitions of how you could take it and uh, my friends now i want you to unmute and is this overwhelming or do you really want to know how it they were made let me know Unmute and let me know. Do you really want to know how they were made? Yes. 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 Great. So let's let's do one thing. I will not show you all as we have time on hand. Okay, it's only eleven o'clock. We have almost an hour. I will actually make all of them and show you. I will just not show you the steps. Okay. Let's make all of them. Now these are uh, infographics and everything. No, has been taken by Slides Go. and free pick okay i have to credit them because i have taken stuff from there see now you remember i was talking to you about this so you could break this line okay this this as you can see is a continuous line if you now mind let's uh, let's get your and we were talking about this line okay now what you need to do over here is that first and foremost point number 1 it should be a good a uh, resolution image okay 
Now what do I mean by good resolution and why do we need a good resolution image? The simple reason is that because I would want to zoom in, right? Uh, so first step number one is duplicate this or copy and paste this, okay? Make your behind one come into the, yeah, okay? We work on this here, okay? Work on this here because there is something that is obstructing uh, me from working in that area, okay? So we come your format picture and now we say transparency or no, we say color and make the color of this black and white, okay? So make it black and white. So your behind one now is black and white. If you all remember that whole transition, it was black and white. Now you take this and just place this right exactly where the first one was. Okay. So this is our parent slide. Now what you do is that you duplicate this. Duplicate the slide with that one behind. Now who is our first one that we want to showcase? We want to show showcase Matthew. Okay. So you see, this is this is where it will even show you. You can see you can see the border of the page. So you come here, do this, put Matthew kind of more into focus. Okay. Now see, this is where a good resolution is extremely important. Great. So yes, you can see here. Okay. So let's make this also slightly bigger. Okay. So now I can see Matthew. I know he's in my frame properly. Now, the most important thing. Now you come, click outside, click on the top picture. Okay. If you realize both the images were getting clicked together. Make sure that this is perfectly aligning with the behind one. Get into format picture, go into crop and go into shape crop crop to shape and say oval see this is my crop okay you are going to come here and then you take your crop to him okay This is how you do it okay so this is our Matthew who is in focus just like how we had done in the presentation and then all you need to do is say insert insert text and give him say Matthew marketing and intern Okay, so he is our marketing intern. You increase this, come here, increase the point size to what you want. 32 is good, make this bigger. Okay, and this is how it's going to look. Okay, so now I want this more bigger. So let's say. 36 select all 36 and I want his name okay because all my people's name should be highlighted make this 48 and make it big so this is how this is going to look give it a good position where the uh, it's visible on your screen also see now here I have a lot of space but you have to see here okay that how much space it is showing Okay, so this is our first one. Now, then we come to a second. So duplicate slide. Now my friends, don't come here. Okay, don't then come here, go into crop. And if you move this, see what happens. Okay, this is not what we want. You want to come here, activate the crop, activate the crop and 
click on this thing here at the corner of the crop and pull it there and then say this is our next person in the slide okay at the corner of the crop come here okay if you click anywhere else it will be a problem then close the crop so now she is highlighted you take this come here make it shelly okay again look where this is coming this can go slightly up yeah now give it a name and this is shelly and she is the marketing head okay now i think this much is enough right and make sure that this one your parent one is duplicated again and put right below okay so this is our whole transition now what you do select 1 2 and 3 come into transitions and only in microsoft 2019 onwards you will have this morph okay you click on morph and it's already started morphing just the way we wanted so now if i go into full screen and i say morph is going to come to matthew marketing intern is going to shelly marketing head and come out so if i wanted i could have taken some more time given the crop to his head and given adam senior marketing so that's how we do a first one yes great did we learn something cool okay now same thing goes here okay we take this all you need to do is you want your parent this is my parent you want 1 2 3 4 and parent again so five times you duplicate this duplicate slide duplicate slide duplicate slide okay so we finish 3 4 and 5 okay now what do we do we are going to come to the second one and remove all this okay remove all this this is what we don't want okay we want just the names or let's do one thing let's now do something new okay let's see how it works we remove these also now here you need to start something that is very important when you come into your home that is you come into select and you say selection pane panel okay why because when you are transiting from one thing to the other okay it should have the same name it's very 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 important and you will realize what i mean to say with this let's zoom in into this okay this is our whole thing let's make this bigger so we are working taking maximum space here okay so this is our first one so this is my infographic this is my circle okay my circle so i am going to keep this give it a name exclamation exclamation circle very important okay exclamation exclamation circle then this is my infographic come your exclamation exclamation info graphic okay then come on to the line exclamation exclamation line okay let this be what it is we want a transition to happen on this the line movement and the text where this is just going to appear okay so let's try 
multiple things okay <coughs> this is my first one then we move on to the second one now from the first graphic info so this is my infographic take this control a control c now what you do come on to the second slide so click on this select this control v okay come on to the third slide the first slide circle okay come on to your circle got it now line get let's get on to line line is the last one cool now we come here 1 2 3 4 come to transitions say morph okay now let's roughly see what it is doing we come here to our parent slide so your first remember one thing your first parent slide will not have any animation okay otherwise what is going to happen is going to take the animation from the previous slide like how we saw the transition so if you want a transition then you could have remove this parent slide remove this parent slide keep this as your first slide understood so if you want a transition to come here then don't have the parent slide there it could work now second that's how it's going to move okay third that's how it's going to move fourth that's how it's going to move good so we wanted it to appear is working perfectly fine you see but you know in your presentation the text also was working differently how will you make the text work very simple okay come here at one click of a button your text also applied so morph is activated already you come here effects characters okay remove these this one has to go okay the description of this actually in a way it's good okay in a way it's good now i know i'm doing r and d here it was something new i was trying okay but now let's see if the morph is happening so the focus is coming on your main text only focus will come on the main text so your effect characters okay now let's see how this works sat on the gas giant yes so if you have the older text here then this effect will not work so it's very simple you are talking about jupiter only have the text of jupiter over here then it works perfectly fine So now, when we when we come to this one, okay. Uh, now, to get that effect that we want, let's say we go to convert to smart art. Now there is a problem with this one, which you will realize when we are converting this. Now when we convert to smart art, now, okay. You see this. Uh, we'll we'll keep the text slightly out over here so you can see it. When it's kept, you get this gap in between. okay and therefore there is a problem okay so it will it will create one special gap now why it is doing that god only knows but this normally happens so the best thing that you do is remove all these gaps that are in between okay and keep it as simple as this now when you convert it see now there are no gaps whatsoever okay so we go into the one that we want let's say i want uh yeah this one okay 
and let me say ok fine so it's done now what i need is to make this small here and make it big great so all of them are there now what you need to do is uh, i want to change colors so if i change colors this way directly it's very much possible so i get my design distant colors whichever i want but let's say you know i i'm not getting the right colors okay if you see this one my first one is the yellow then then the other three colors are fine so how do i change this color of yellow now, option number one is that i click on this only this one okay i come onto format and change the color here simple okay that same thing we do with a circle so circle only select the circle over here format and now change the outline color okay keep it that way so that's how this whole thing is done i want to change the color of this line okay only this line so again press control press control and click it so only the line is highlighted again come into format and now uh, it's a outline so i say no outline and i give it a fill color so I make it black that's what i want but uh, now in this no let's not get into putting uh, m over here and uh, j and s and n it's just an alphabet that you to put and give it the same color but there is one very important thing which you can do if you have to end up changing the colors of each and every one of them you will have to do that okay that is ungroup it okay so let's come here and say ungroup so you will have to be a group ungroup now all of it is ungrouped fully okay so now you select this group this okay so group each and every one of them that is together and leave this line all by itself now why we are doing this is what i will be showcasing to you so our first slide this is this is complete we want this to be big make it center align and make it 40 point okay so this is our this is complete now what we are going to do is take this line move it outwards okay keep it somewhere here uh, zoom out on this select all these three all these four ones put them here take this line make it in the center of the page now take it and you put it zoom in press control and zoom in back again and put it exactly in the center fine so this is our slide number one now what we are going to do is duplicate this slide and now we will take this keep it up here take this keep this here and take these and put them back on the curve okay and zoom in and see if everything is in place yes it is so we are good with slide number two now we will duplicate this again and take these three and pull them out take this pull it out and take this line and pull this out and this whole thing is our heading now so this is my third transition okay let's see if this is happening smoothly we come here select all the three slides transition morph come to the first slide our solar system slide come here and let's come solar system slide 
and that's how it happens that's how all of them come you talk about them and then you talk about mars now let's say now let's take our transition that we had done of the images also into calculation so let's come home sorry insert pictures this device so the turning heads logo and creative thinkers hub logo we come here insert okay now we will just duplicate this or let's say new slide and in the new slide we will put the creative thinkers hub logo in the new slide cut paste and these no you have to make sure let's zoom in these always have to be in the center of the page so wherever uh, not necessary in the center of the page but they have to overlap each other okay so i am putting this right in the center as you can see in the grids over here that same has to happen with this also it has to be perfectly in the middle if it is off it's not going to work okay now what we had done with the previous slide we will have to do with this also so you come into your home select object pane and if this is picture 18 and you want to keep that name same or let's make it only picture exclamation exclamation picture double exclamation is extremely important this is the format of a uh, uh, powerpoint without which it's not going to work so copy this give take this and give it also the same name okay now when we come here and uh, obviously this is going to be transition morph okay you see the morphing has already happened so then when we come here and we say morph it gets morphed to creative thinkers hub so this is my slide i click this becomes the title it shows consider this as an image uh, uh re related to mars and then when i want to come to the second image related to mars it will morph okay so this is how we did all our animations and i hope you all have enjoyed this you all have liked this particular webinar and yes this is going to be uploaded on my youtube channel okay again i thank you all for being here